The senior patrol leader is the highest youth leadership position in a troop, and serves as the primary link between a troop scouts and its adult leaders. During troop meetings, troop activities, and troop planning sessions, the senior patrol leader sees that things get done and responsibilities are carried out. With the advice and counsel of the Scoutmaster, they appoint other troop junior leaders and assign their duties and responsibilities, set a good example, live by the Scout Oath and Law, wear the Scout uniform correctly, and of course show Scout spirit. An invaluable source of information for Senior Patrol Leaders is the Senior Patrol Leader Handbook. In it are colorful sections on the Senior Patrol Leader qualifications, building troop spirit, the troop program, running a good troop meeting, leading a troop beyond the meeting room, how to be a good senior patrol leader, and the troop leadership team. Troop leader resources and troop program resources are two websites filled with information, ideas, examples, and videos designed to help the senior patrol leader plan and prepare a successful scouting program for the troop. Troop guides are both leaders and mentors to the members of the new scout patrol. They should be older scouts who at least hold the first class rank and work well with younger scouts. The troop guide helps a patrol leader of the new scout patrol lead their patrol so they can develop into a well-functioning group, working harmoniously and productively. They introduce new scouts to troop operations, teach basic scout skills, and work with the new scout patrol leader at the patrol leaders council meetings. The troop guide serves as a good example by wearing the scout uniform correctly, living by a scout oath and law, and showing scout spirit. Patrol leaders are key to assuring the members of their patrol get the most out of scouting. They are elected by the members of their patrol and representing them at troop planning sessions, keeping them informed of decisions made. One of their main roles is assuring their patrol is prepared to participate in all troop activities. During troop meetings and outings, patrol leaders keep the patrol intact so they can learn and work together. Familiar with the abilities of each patrol member, they see that each patrol member has repeated opportunities to share responsibilities and effectively get things done. By wearing the scout uniform correctly, living by the scout oath and law, and showing patrol spirit, patrol leaders set a good example for the members of their patrol and the rest of the troop. The patrol leader handbook is an essential resource for all troop leaders. It includes ready to use tips to help scouts become effective leaders at troop meetings and on the trail. The chaplain aide assists the troop chaplain in serving the religious needs of the troop. They lead the troop in opening or closing prayer, mealtime blessings, and worship services during campouts. The chaplain aide ensures that religious holidays are considered during the troop's program planning processes and also helps promote annual Scout Sunday or Scout Sabbath. Additionally, the chaplain aide tells troop members about the Religious Emblems program for their faith. They serve as a good example by wearing the Scout uniform correctly, living by the Scout oath and law, and showing Scout spirit. The historian helps preserve the troop's history. They gather photos and facts about troop activities and maintain them in scrapbooks, information files, and wall displays. They assemble and organize news stories, trophies, awards, and all forms of troop memorabilia, 
and make these materials available for viewing at Courts of Honor and various scouting activities. The historian sets a good example by wearing a scout uniform correctly, living by a scout oath and law, and showing scout spirit. The troop librarian oversees care and use of troop books, pamphlets, magazines, audio visuals, and merit badge counselor lists. They check out these materials to scouts and leaders and maintain records to ensure that everything is returned in a timely manner. They may also suggest the acquisition of new literature and report the need to repair or replace any current holdings. The librarian sets a good example by wearing the scout uniform correctly, living by a scout oath and law, and showing scout spirit. The quartermaster is the troop supply boss. They keep an inventory of troop equipment and see that things are in good condition and ensure the storage area is neat and clean. On an ongoing basis, they make sure that all troop equipment used during meetings and outings is returned in good condition and properly stored. Working with the troop committee's equipment coordinator, the quartermaster keeps track of what needs to be repaired or replaced. The quartermaster serves as a good example by wearing the scout uniform correctly, living by the scout oath and law, and showing scout spirit. The scribe is the troop secretary, though not a voting member. They attend meetings of patrol leaders council and play an important role by keeping a log of what is discussed. The troop scribe cooperates with the patrol scribes to record attendance, the payment of dues at troop meetings, and to maintain troop advancement records. In this capacity, they work closely with the troop committee's advancement chairman and treasurer. The scribe serves as a good example for all troop members by wearing the scout uniform correctly, living by a scout oath and law, and showing scout spirit. 